Good morning everyone, I'm CK and I'm back for another reaction video and as promised, this is the continuation of my reaction video that I just uploaded and this is Jesse J's performance of Ain't Nobody by Chaka Khan on Singer 2018 where KZ Tandingan sang Rolling in the Deep and I'm very much excited to react to this video because Jesse J is one of my idols. So let's get it started. Whoa. She's like an angel flagging. Very strong voice. Makes me feel this way. Woo! Hey, nobody loves me better. Mm. Mm. Ah, that's very playful. Come on, girl. Wow, I love those runs and riffs. Yes, Jesse J. I love how she does it, those are buns and meters. She looks very simple, but stunning. Yes, girl. Makes me feel this way. Oh, yes. I think she's preparing for something. Oh. 
Oh my god! Oh my god, what are you doing to me, Jesse J? And that's Jesse J in the house. Yes, girl! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was a very, very extravagant, vocally extravagant performance. Oh my god, what to expect from Jessie J? Well, there are a lot of things that I like about the performance. First, let's talk about the low notes of the performance, but first, let me just turn this off. Let's talk about the low notes. First, I really admired her during those parts where she was hitting the low notes because the low notes are extremely low, and yet, she was able to hit those notes in a very clear and very audible manner because sometimes when you go low there would be tendencies that your notes would not be heard but it was very clear during the whole performance during the first part rather and it sounded very full and i like it it shows that, that she can really go really really low and now let's talk about the high notes oh my god those high notes are superb Sometimes I feel like, is she gonna make it or is she gonna hit that note until such time that she would hit that note and I'll get surprised. And oh my god, those were extremely high notes, but the high notes sounded very controlled. It does not sound squeaky. It does not sound um, strained. It's very full. It's very well controlled. And that is something that I like about Jessie J. When she hits those high notes, it's always controlled. It's always colorful. And you know that it's Jessie J. Because the sound is very unique. And those high notes are not just simply high notes. So those are vocal flares. So imagine she was dancing and she was moving during the first part of the song. And she had this so much energy during the first and the half. I mean, first half of the song. Song, and at the end of the song she would hit those big notes that was very impressive she was not running out of breath she had a lot of air in her lungs and I like it next let's talk about her vocal techniques first I love this cutting part because um, at first I felt like okay yes um, it's Jesse J singing, but I cannot feel that it's Jesse J until such time when she hit the those or when she started to do the scat part or the scatting part. That's where it felt like, hey, it's Jesse J in the house because that's her signature technique, and they like it. It was perfect. It made me feel like, hey, it's Jesse J, and we all know that Jesse J is a brand. She's an icon, and. You would know if Jessie J is the one who is singing that song because of her unique technique, because of her unique voice and her musicality. Next, I love the endless runs. Sometimes when you sing a song or when singers sing songs, I feel like there were singers who overdo runs and riffs or they do a lot of runs and riffs and sometimes it feels awkward already but during this performance even though there are a lot of runs and riffs there were almost runs and riffs every part of the song i feel like it's okay because she executed all those melismas all those runs and riffs perfectly and it's very unique. That kind of runs and riffs is, is just for Jessie J. She's the only one who can do that. Same thing as um, Whitney Houston's runs and riffs. It's, it's unique. Mariah Carey's, it's 
unique and Jessie J has her own technique of doing her runs and riffs and I like it. It makes me feel the shiver and and I I was having goosebumps every time she would hit those runs and riffs and I like it. Now let's talk about the growls. I love the endless growls of Jessie J on this performance. I feel like it's very healthy because after growling, she did not lose any points of her voice quality. Her voice quality stayed the same. And if you're a person, you're a human, and you, you would do unhealthy growls, after growling, it would have an effect on your voice. But it did not happen to her, so it means that her growls are very healthy. And I love how she hit those high notes after the growls. It made me feel like, hey, she's really a good vocalist, and I like it so much. Next, the performance itself. It was very sassy. It was very sexy. It's not the usual Jesse J that we see because the usual Jesse J that I know is very animated, very playful. This one is very sexy and very sassy and I like that. I like that part where she performs in a very sexy manner, in a very sassy manner. It feels like she's proving that, hey, yes, I'm a real diva and yes, she's a real diva and I love her for that. Also, I love the similarity of her voice. To the voice of Casey Tendigan. I think that they just differ um, when it comes to the range. Because we all know that Jessie J has an extremely wide range. And Casey Tendigan is a very limited one. But the voice quality is somehow similar. And I like it. So now, let's move on to our comparison. For me... It's, it's really difficult to decide who should win the competition. But if I'm going to take it objectively, if we're going to talk about the whole performance, meaning we take into consideration the creativity, the, um, the additional things that they did during the performance, I feel like, yes, Casey Tandingan won this round because of the 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 reverb on the beginning the rap part the arrangement of the song she got it there but when it comes to vocals i feel like still jesse j won this round because vocally she was superb she was very confident hitting those notes she has a very wide um range and she maximized her range for this performance so it's 50 50 for me so performance wise it's casey tandingan but if it's for the vocals, I still go for Jessie J. So there you go. That's my reaction video for this performance. And I hope you like it. I love them both. I'm proud to be a Filipino. And I also love Jessie J. I love them both. And if you like this reaction video, please don't forget to hit like. If you have any comments, suggestions, or any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And... If you want more videos in the future, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's me, CK Reyes. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day, everyone.